1957, Paul Cook, a scientist at Stanford Research Institute, was studying the effects that radiation had on materials. He found that he could irradiate certain thermal plastics and give them characteristics that we today call heat shrinkability. To explain how heat shrink works, it's usually easy to um, describe it in terms of spaghetti. So imagine you have a bowl of spaghetti, and everywhere that the um, noodles intersect, um, in a polymer chain, you would actually have a crystal that would form to connect these polymer chains, which would be the noodles. What Paul Cook found out was that he could radiate these polymers, and they would form crosslinks. So at, at that point, he could take the material, heat it up past its crystalline melt point, and it became flexible and expandable blow that material up to three, four, or five times its original size, and let it cool, the crystals would reform to keep it in that expanded state. And any time afterwards, you could heat that material back up to its crystalline melt point, and the crystals again would melt, the crosslinks would pull it right back down to the exact shape and size that it was originally made in. Heat shrink tubing can be used to insulate, protect, seal a cable jacket, a bare wire. It can be used to repair a cable jacket that's been nicked. It can also be used to identify the color coding and identification of cable jackets. Some of the features of cross-linking in their heat shrink product is improved mechanical strength, improved chemical and solvent resistance. It is also can withstand environments from as low as minus 40 degrees C all the way up to 130 degrees C without cracking, melting, or flowing. And it has no shelf life or tension set once it's stored properly according to our storage conditions. After all these years of formulating our products and materials for the energy marketplace, we have the knowledge and competence to know what will work in the field and ensure that the product will meet the customer's requirements in the adverse field conditions over the lifetime of its installation.